but I'm out here at First Energy Park in Lakewood talking with David Buchanan. I want to ask, what is your, what's your pitch repertoire like and what do you consider your out pitch? Uh, well, we've been working on my slider. Uh, my past two starts, I've been I've been throwing it okay. Uh, it, I'm, I'm still trying to get a little tighter. Uh, sometimes it gets a little loopy on me. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm a ground ball pitcher, so I, I, I love using my sinker. Uh, I, I throw that, you know, most of the time just to get my ground balls. But um, when I get ahead in the count 02, you know, I, I might be able to bury that slider. Uh, like I said, I'm still working on that. Uh, I've had a, a little bit of success in the past couple of starts, but, you know, it's still something that's, you know, still a work in progress. Uh, J.C. Romero was was here with the team recently, and speaking to him after the game, I inquired about which players on the Lakewood squad he was familiar with, or the names that he knew, or guys that he, uh, you know, could acknowledge as far as pe people or faces or names that he was already familiar with. You and Mario were the two that he knew of. Mm -hmm. Is that, you know, how does that make you feel knowing that guys that are up the ladder, you know, you're, you're in the system not even a year yet, guys up the ladder like major leaguers in the bullpen, in the Phillies bullpen, know who you are, know your name, and can recognize you. How does it make you feel? Uh, it's, it, it's definitely humbling. and It, it kind of gives you chills. I didn't know that. Uh, that that's, that that's, that's really cool. Um, ho hopefully it was because of my performance. But um, I actually, I know, I've never met JC, uh, but his best buddy, Esteban, he actually, he's a, a guy that, I, that has helped me, been my pitching coach, or one of them down at home plate in Petrie City. And uh, he's worked with me since my freshman year of high school. And um, he told me that, you know, he knew J.C. and, you know, he's going to come down and, you know, hang out so we can meet each other. So when he came here, I actually introduced myself. He was, oh, yeah, you know, step I was talking about you. Uh, but with the fact that he knows about me and Mario is, uh, you know, I'm assuming that might be from uh, performance because Mario's a hell of a pitcher. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably, uh, hopefully that, that's the reason. So that, that, that's, def that's definitely humbling. That's, that's something I can take to heart right now. That's pretty cool. Uh, I wanted to ask you, what have your impressions of Lakewood been as far as, uh, you know, versus other places that you've played uh, throughout your collegiate and, and pro career thus far? Uh, it's, well, first of all, it's beautiful. I mean, this, this atmosphere is unreal. The field is, you know, our maintenance crew takes amazing care of it. It's always in, you know, perfect condition, especially with our weather being the way it is and how hectic it is with the rain, and you never know. But, like, for some reason, it's like we can always play. So, uh, you know, I'll, yeah, give a shout out to the field crew. They take a great job with the people that work on the field with the entertainment and the fans. You know, it's, it's always clean, it's always fun, it, it's, always, it's always a pleasure to play. Um, the field itself is just beautiful. Uh, we we around, the, we play some nice parks, um, but, you know, regard, not just on this team, but it's always nice knowing that when you're heading to Lakewood, and fortunately for us, we're heading home uh, to be able to make this our home stand. So it, it's definitely one of the nicest places I've ever played in. Cool. Um, you, grew, you grew up in Georgia. Who are some of your favorite players growing up? Uh, who were you a Braves fan growing up? Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was a Braves fan. No, I was born and raised a Braves fan. Um, but you know, living ten minutes from the ballpark, and that's how that's how it's going to be. Uh, but you know, you also like the all, all of the four aces. Uh, you know, Smoltz, Maddox, Glavin, Avery, those guys. Um, Tim Hudson works out at a home plate in Future City, so I've got to meet him a few times. You know, and I, I've, I've seen him throw his bullpen, done some drills with him. Um, so. I, I love watching him pitch because I, I kind of try to follow his approach to the game because you know he, he's a sinker ball or ground ball pitch. I mean he, he has a lot more he gets a lot more strikeouts than I do, but you know his stuff a whole lot better than mine. But uh, you know he, he he likes to go out there and he, he throws the contact, throws strikes, and uses uses his movement. So you know I, I like to follow him the way he approaches the game. Um, but kind of I, I was always fan of you know, Josh Beckett uh, for the Red Sox. I like watching him throw Lester. Um, I, I like watching Cole Hamels just because his changeup. You know I've always wanted to develop a good one. And of course, now I mean, who doesn't who doesn't like watching Doc? You know, I mean, that's just that's, it, it's it's always an interesting thing to witness every time he goes down the mound because you never know what's going to happen. Um, last thing, uh, last thing I got for you before I let you go. Thanks for taking the time. Uh, growing up in Georgia, you're obviously playing youth baseball. Mm -hmm. uh, did you always excel at pitching, or, or, or maybe what other position did you play until uh, before you knew that you were going to really excel as a pitcher? Well, growing up. Um, Actually, I mean, I always pitch. You know, that's just something I always love to do. But I think, you know, coming up in youth baseball, all kids want to pitch. You know, you know, they always want to be the pitcher. You know, it's not so much your own rotation. It's just every time you show up, you hey, you, hey, coach, can I pitch today? That's just how it was. Um, but yeah, I could, I continued to pitch my whole time, uh, and I started, I started having, I, mean, I guess, say success. You know, in like nine and ten, eleven, twelve league. But you know, I didn't really get serious until I got to high school, and um, you know, of course, I went out there to pitch because I always had a good arm. So um, yeah, I, I played right field when, when I wasn't pitching, mm -hmm. and um, but I, I went to a couple. Uh, m my summer team at home plate when we traveled around to Jupiter, Fort Myers and stuff. 
you know, I go out there and pitch, and um, I started getting scout recognition and just asking me you know, what my plans were, this and that. So we really started focusing on that. And then well, once I got to my sophomore year of high school, that's really I really started buckling down um, between pitching and hitting, and I really decided I, you know, I, I was going to continue my career as a pitcher. So I really put put forth all my effort into you know mechanics and pitches and really really you know locating in the zone, stuff like that. So, uh, but I got the first guy I talked to actually saw me in the outfield and just noticed I had a good arm, so he wanted to see me on the mound. So I think that's when they knew that I had a good chance to be successful there. So that's when I put forth my effort to be the best I could be on the mound. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to Atlanta where the play is play. And we ride on them things like every day. Big beats hit streets, see gangsters roaming. And parties don't stop till 8 in the morning. Welcome to Atlanta.